Hi, good evening. Good evening, Fernando. How's it going? I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine, good. Now, do you listen to me clearly? Yes. Good. That's fantastic. It's because I have some problems with my with my earbuds. I I got a pair of ear, earbuds, but hope we're not going to have any problem tonight. Okay. All right, Jancy. Hello, Jancy. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Hope you're doing well. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Okay. Now, what happened with your camera tonight, Merlin? Good evening. <laughs> Uh, now yeah. that's different, right? Good evening. <laughs> and that's different. That's a red light. When you activate your camera, it's better, I think. We interact in a bird way. So, well, let's see. We're going to make some time because it's only one minute after eight. And, you know, well, uh, uh, let's, let's provide some, some uh, more minutes to people who uh, haven't been able to get into the class. I can see Veronice. Good evening, Veronice. Long time to see, Veronice. How's it going? Hi, yes, I little see the last week and, and I go, I have a word in the side and I go to the 12, the meeting day and I finish 10 in the night. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you you have been very busy lately. Yeah, yeah, and the, a lot of stress. Yeah, and the last week is very complicated in the world, but oh well. Hopefully, here. hopefully we are in a new journey, right? And, yeah. And hopefully you you are gonna you're gonna continue um uh, doing your 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 job in the best way. Yeah, thank you. And try to release stress, right? You know, stress is not so good. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, that's why I'm <laughs> just getting bold, right? Yeah. As, as you can see, for example, Daniel, Daniel doesn't know what stress is, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> very good. That... Yeah, but they look at the teach for of the teacher, right? A lot of stress also. <laughs> No, but don't, don't worry, okay? We have ups and downs. We have ups and downs, okay? Yeah, yeah, you I know. know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, no, but I'm really happy you are able to participate tonight. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Okay, and Ronan, good evening. I hope that you're able to participate. I already said say hello to Fernando. And Jancy and Merlin. So I have six people and still waiting for. It's ah, but it's only three minutes after eight, right? It's not that late. So well, tonight is gonna be a very special night because we're gonna study something that's quite important. That is, well, I can see Gladys got into the class also. Okay, good evening. Okay, she's gonna be in the class as a listener, and I got it. Okay, so well, I was just telling you about a, a topic that we're gonna face tonight. We're gonna see, we're gonna study tonight. And that's about simple past tense. And simple past tense is a very wide topic. There is a, a big topic that we need to get into it as soon as possible. Well. It was in when we were in basic two, I think we, we started with simple past tense. And tonight we're gonna continue with it. And the reason to do so is because a simple past tense is that big. I mean, we have a lot of info, we have a lot to learn, and we have a lot of information to practice. Well, you know, we're gonna be very busy when uh, working with simple past tense. Um, however, I consider that's a topic quite important because it, it opens our, our minds. We learn verbs, we learn a tense, 
we discovered that we are in charge of using a different auxiliary. We know about simple present, and the auxiliary we use in a simple present is do and does, but over here we're gonna see that we are going to use a different model, I mean, a different auxiliary verb. Auxiliary, it's not a verb, okay? So it's gonna be quite interesting, okay? If you, if you love English, you are going to enjoy it as much as possible. Okay, I know you love English, right? I know that you are practicing English all the time. I know that you are looking for new expressions in English and that's fantastic. For example, Daniel is gonna share an expression he learned today. Hello. Uh, right. Today, no. <laughs> Oh, me cae fire. <laughs> wow, Danny, I thought you were going to be like, this is the opportunity to share uh, <laughs> what I have learned with my classmates. Okay, no, but anyways, you see, uh, Ronan, new expressions in English. Jansi. Merlin. Norma, good evening. I saw you, Norma. <laughs> okay, so do you listen to me clearly, people? Do you? Yes. Li yeah. yes they listen. Any problem? All right, so far so good. So anyways, let me see. Eight people connected and we're gonna start, okay? In a very quick way, I will I will mention, I will check list attendance, just to nurse about the people who got into the class very early. And well, I will try to remember that at the end, I, I need to check the list attendance a second time. Yesterday I didn't do it, but well, the information was taken into consideration over here. Ada? Belen, Daniel, present teacher, All right? Edgar Edilson, Gladys Rubidia, Jonathan Josué, yeah, Gladys says hello, right? Eh, Jose Daniel, Juan Fernando, present teacher, All right? Maria Elba, Mario Cristóbal, Berenice. Yeah, I'm here. Good. Merlin. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Michael. Noah. Aníbal. Present teacher. Good. Norma. Present teacher. Excellent. Ronald. Teresa. Vera Liz and Chancy. Well, Present teacher. Good, 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 good to see you here. Now, it's getting better. Now, let me see the chat. Gladys says uh, she's over here. Run on the same story. Okay, time to start. Okay, time to start. I will start by sharing, you know, the platform as we usually do it. To have some review about what we we started yesterday. And let me see, that's a vocabulary. Oh here. Oh okay. Now got it. And as you know. Yesterday, we were talking about simple present tense. That was quite easy because uh, you remember about what we started, what we started when we were in basic one, basic two. Okay, so we continue doing so. I mean, and over here, well, yesterday we, we started about simple present uh, tense regarding two double H question words. Okay. So, and over here I have, what this machine do? What will be the question? 
How would you create a question with that with that info? Aidan, good evening. I saw your message in the in the chat. What does machine do? So what's the question over here? What does this what? machine do? What does this machine do? This machine do question marks. Okay, number two. Who she met? Who she meet on Saturday? Saturdays. Who does she meet on Saturday? Okay. Who does does she meet? She meet on Saturdays. Question mark. Number three, how many people she survived, supervised? How many people does she supervise? She, how many people does she supervise? Perfect. Question mark. How how much this cost? How much does this cost? How much does does? Yeah. This cost. Does this cost? Cost. Good. And where you eat lunch? Where do you Where eat lunch? With lunch? Where do you eat a lunch? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to work a little bit with this info. Well, we're gonna check it. Let's see if we committed some mistakes. First one. Hey, can you do me the favor to read it? Can somebody in the in the group read the question? Not everybody at the same time, only one person. That's what uh, this what? might change. What's that? What's that's what? What does? What does? This machine do. Hey, what does this machine do? The next one? Who does she meet on Saturday? Who does she meet on Saturdays? Well, it's a, they are questions, right? Next one. How, how many, many people, people does she supervise? Hey, how many people does she supervise? Number four. How much does this cost? Hey, how much does this cost? And the number five. Where do you eat lunch? Hey, yeah. Where do you eat? Where do you eat lunch? Perfect. So, <laughs> so far so good with simple present tense. And tonight, as I told you, right, it's a very special night because we're gonna go over some uh, with a different topic. And the topic we are starting with is is about simple. Past, Simple past statements and yes, no questions, All right? Simple past statements and just no questions. So this is not our class. We're going to start with the class just right now. Uh, well, over here, uh, well, this is, this is also a review about what we did yesterday, right? So yesterday we studied about simple present tense and double H question words. We solved some exercises over here. Uh, let me see, Douglas trains the new stuff. Who trains it? I, I also explained about this exercise, right? Yesterday we did it, okay? Okay, so we finished with it and now we have the possibility. The possibility to see this conversation. I will introduce it by reading the conversation and you do me the favor to see the words that are involved, all right? Such as did, such as enjoy, such as learned, such as updated, such as learned once again, such as did, such as make, 
such as each change business. Okay? So I will try to introduce. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the partner. You are going to listen to me only, but if you want to practice, if you want to practice, you can repeat at home. Did you enjoy the seminars? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my, net, my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make a new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Now, can you read this, please? Did you enjoy did. the seminar? Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Uh-huh. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Okay. Uh, Daniel, how do you pronounce this? Update. Okay. Now look for the pronunciation in the in the web, please, Daniel. Okay. And then I will ask you to read it again. Now then we have Daniel. Great. So did you make new contact? Yeah, then the last one. Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. 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 Right. So now investigate about this word, Daniel. Okay. Investigate about this word. Let me see. I will ask somebody else to read it. Uh, volunteers, I, I want somebody else to read it. Only one person more. Only one, only one, only one. Me, teacher, me. Okay, Michael, go and read it, please. Uh, did you enjoy this seminar? Good. Yes, I did. I learn, learned a lot. Good. Tell me more. I update my network, networking skills and learn to move from small to smart. Talk. Okay, listen, Michael. Uh, Daniel, now you got the pronunciation, right? Update. Okay, okay. Let's listen to Daniel. Let's 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 see if he if he could get the, the right pronunciation. Daniel. Hola. What's the pronunciation? Did you get it? Uh, yeah, up to date. Up. That's um, what you got in the internet. Updated. That, that's what you got in the internet. The way the way to pronounce it. Updated. Uh, updated. Updated. In, updated. Uh, updated. I updated, updated my networking skills. Okay. Updated. Updated. So. Okay. Michael. Uh, great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did exchange business car with 10 people. Awesome. 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 Okay, now, wh where is the info over here? The info is in the 23, so that you have it. Because later on, we're going to get back. Let me see. Did Luis go to a seminar? I think we can solve this now. Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Did Janet update her uh, networking skills? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did Janet learn to go from small to smart talk? Yes, she did. Yeah, she did. Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? Yes, he did. No, he, he did. didn't. So no. I think it's in the last part, right? So I said, yes, I did. Uh -huh. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. So did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? 
Now he is. Yes, he did, right? Yes, he did. All right. So, well, I was trying. I tried to introduce the grammar. Okay. Let me see. Good evening, Jonathan. I saw your message over here. Now, let's be happy and let's see what's going on with simple past tense. Well, I got this page and it is quite fantastic. Okay. I won't be able to share it with you uh, tonight in the WhatsApp group because uh, I, 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 I'm not. I'm not having a, a, a good a Wi-Fi connection. So well I, I cannot get connected in the in the WhatsApp group now. But I will share it with you in here in the chat so that you can go if you want and visit the page. Then um, later or now that will be fantastic. Now this is what we're gonna work. Simple past tense and how to use it with example. This is the first time we're gonna see. A simple past tense, okay? I will try to make it bigger so that we you, we can read the info that's on here. And it said that simple past tense is a bird tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. Imagine someone asking you what your brother Wolf again did what he was in town last weekend. Example. Well, Gang entered a hula hoop contest. What is that? Simple past form of the verb enter. Another example he won the silver medal. He won the silver medal. So we, we are going to discover that we have two groups of English verbs. One, I mean, at least of verbs that are called regular verbs and another list of verbs that are called irregular verbs. With the regular verbs in the in the past form, all of them and in ed. Over here, bits me, right? So we have to learn them by heart. Okay, so something else, okay? That we have about it is that simple past tense shows that you are talking about something that has already happened in the past, of course. Unlike the past continuous tense, which is just to talk about past events that happened over a period of time. The simple past tense indicates that the actions occurred at a certain time, then it was completed. Example, Wolfgang, Wolfgang ad admired the way the light glint tear off a silver metal. New vocabulary, admire. Look at, look at the new vocabulary, okay? In, in case you don't know it, they are verbs. So we are in church of learning a lot of verbs. What is this? Well, if you don't know, please do me the favor to look for it. That's important. Okay. Okay, thank you, Daniel. It's in the past, right? So that's why it's in ED. You can also use a simple past to talk about a past state of being, being such as the way someone felt about something. This is often expressed with the simple past tense of the verb to be in an adjective, noun, or prepositional phrase. How come? In the example, we have Wolf, Wolf yeah, was proud of his hula hoop victory. The contest was the highlight of this week. He was at, the, at his best the whole time. So you know about this word, contest? So if you don't know, look for it. Okay. Now we're going to see how to form simple past things. As I told you before, we have regular verbs. And those regular verbs, in a past form, you only add ed to the root or to the base form. Okay. That ends in 
and E, for example. We have this one. Play, you add, it is. Play it. Play that. But when you have type, the only thing you need to do is to add a D, typed. Listen, listened, push, pushed, okay? So get familiar with vocabulary and also with pronunciation. Don't worry because later on we're gonna see about uh, pronunciation of regular verbs. And actually, I, I share a, a video, a link in the WhatsApp group so that you can see it. It's about the way to pronounce regular verbs. So, but let's get let's get back to this topic. We have uh, pushed, loved, and there are some others that we call irregular verbs, irregular verbs. And with this irregular verb, things get more complicated. Don't worry, right? The word complicated is not that complicated. <laughs> the simple past tense of some irregular verbs looks exactly like the root form. Past of the verb put, put. Present, past. Present, past. Present, past. Present, past, present, past. So they are the same. And also the pronunciation is the same. Put, put, cut, cut, sit, sit. Sorry, cast, cast, hit, hit. Now they are, they are irregular because they do, I mean, their ending is not with ed. There are some other irregular verbs, including to be, the verb to be, you know, in the present is am, is, are, but in the past is was and were. Simple past forms are more erratic. See, the simple past. Aidan, Aidan has a question. Tell me, Aidan. Thank you, teacher. Eh, con lo que acaba de mencionar en esos verbos irregulares, eh, se pronuncia igual. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but there is a there is a there is an, an it, it, there there is an exception. For example, in this one, read simple pass. Pass participle. No pronunciation. Read, read, read. It's not the same pronunciation, right? But here, hit, hit, hit. In this one, for example, in the previous one, uh, Aidan, in the previous one, we say, put, 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 cut, 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 set, 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 cut, 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 hit, 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 but read, read, read. Okay. Okay. Sí. Thank you. Okay, quite good. Now, the past of C. Where's the past form? Oh. So oh. the past of build. 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 The past of go. Went. Went. Past of do. Build. Past form of rise. Rise. Rose. Okay, so. The past participle, well, uh, sooner or later, you're going to start this, right? Fíjense que, lo siento que me pasa el español, pero, writes, tan bonito aquí, um, full English, writes, rose, risen, okay? Rise, mm -hmm. rose, risen. So what's, what's complicated about regular verbs? What is the message that you that you uh, that you need to take into consideration? That when talking about irregular verbs, things get more complicated. 
okay? But when you see the word complicated, actually it's not that complicated. The only thing that you need to do is to put into practice what you listen to and the information that you are just seeing in this page. I don't think it's, that is complicated. Uh, I think the hardest part is that you need to memorize. You need to memorize the information, okay? And that's what we sometimes do not want to do. See, so be a bear, go when do the right roads, etc. Um, um, is our was in word. But, but the, the good news over here is that the verse in the simple past tense, except for the verb to be, don't need to agree number in their subjects. For example, Wolfgang polished his metal. You see how polished, and the other example is the other winners polished their medals too. Now, as you can see, the verb remains the same, no matter the number or being, if it is plural or singular, the verb remains the same. Simple past form, simple past form. We have one medal over here, we have Many medals over here, but the verb remains the same. Now, so far so good? Hello? Yeah. yeah, so far so good. Fortunately, there is a formula for making simple past verbs negative and it's the same for both regular and irregular verbs, except for the verb to be. The formula is did auxiliary. Did plus not plus the root or the base form of the verb. Okay? Now, for example, in here we have this same, same uh, person. Wolfgang didn't brag. Brag. Too much about his hula hoop. Yes. Example two. Wolfgang's girlfriend didn't see the contest. So, if you want to make a positive statement here, let's see my, we say positive statement, we say, uh, Wolf, what's the name of this person? Wolfgang's girlfriend didn't see the contest, okay? So the one, if we do it in the positive form, we may say he saw his girlfriend he saw his girlfriend about he saw his girlfriend in a contest. So that's positive, right? So, but when you see in the negative form, in a negative form, what is the verb over here? What's the verb? So, so, so. But in the negative form, since we have auxiliary, didn't, didn't, the verb remains in the base form. Base. Base form. Base form. Okay? But why? Because you have auxiliary over here. Okay? You have auxiliary. So now you know, you know the verb, right? The verb is C, so, C, C, so, C. Okay, as you can see, in this past form positive statement, we use this form, simple past. Is that right? Positive statements. It's over here. So, but when we use in the negative form, we use the base form. 
And now this is another story. Este es otra historia. Aquí luego vamos a hablar de otros tiempos con este, con esta, con esta tercera parte. Okay? But in simple past, that's the info that we have. Now, whenever you have a question, you just tell me, raise your hand, and you ask. Now, for the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary D. This is quite important, okay? Because the verb to be with the verb to be is different. When the subject of the sentence is singular, use was or was not if it is negative or was in if you want to use it in the contracted form. When the subject is plural, use were, not, or were in the contracted form. Example, the third place winner was not as happy as Wolfgang. The fourth place winner wasn't happy at all. The lookers were not ready to live after the contest ended. The contestants weren't ready to leave either. Okay? Was where? Was where? Wasn't wearing. Negative form. Okay? Now, different from this. Okay? Because the verb to be is in, in a different way. Say, was not or wasn't, were not, if it is plural, or weren't. Now, the, there, is a, there is a formula to talk about questions or to create questions. Over here, in the past tense, you need the auxiliary did at the beginning. You need a subject and you need the base form of the verb. In this case, they, 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 they say it like root form of the verb. The Wolfgang win. Where did Wolfgang go to celebrate? And did the judges decide? See, base form, base form, base form. Why? Because we have auxiliary, we have auxiliary, and then we have the auxiliary in the past form. When asking a question with the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary did. The formula is was and where. So it's different. Once again, plus the subject. Example, was Wolfgang. Wolfgang in a good mood after the contest. Did people take lots of pictures? Now the verb is take, that's different, right? But with the verb be, you see, we don't need any auxiliary. Now some verbs. And over here, you are gonna help me with the, especially with the pronunciation. Infinitive. To ask. Again, let me see, let's have some review about what we have here. Let me see. We have base form so that you can get familiarized. So base form is ask. Yes or no? Infinitive? To ask. Past tense? Ask it. Uh, okay. Ask. Uh, Investigate pronunciation, please. Investigate, por favor, la pronunciación de estas. Del pasado. Vamos a descubrir algo por ahí. Negative. Ask. Negative. Did not or didn't. Did ask. not ask or didn't ask. Did Base didn't form. Ask. Base form. Work. Work. Infinitive. To work. Past tense. Work. work. Uh, investigate pronunciation, please. <laughs> investigate pronunciation. Yes. Negative statement. Did not. Did or not did. work or didn't work. Base form. Born. Cool. Born. Well, infinitive. To call. Past tense. Call. Investigate Call. pronunciation. Negative statement. Did not call. Did not call. And the last one. Call. Base form. Call. Use. Use. Infinitive. To use. To use. Past tense. Use it. Use. 
Negative. Then not, not you. you. Okay, now listen carefully because we're going to see what's going on with this. Why did I tell you to investigate pronunciation? And we're going to go over it. It's quite important for you to use right pronunciation of words, especially when talking about past tense of regular verb. Remember, all of these are regular. Why do we call them regular? Why do we call these ver regular verbs? Why? Mm. Why? Why do we call regular verbs? Why do we call these verbs? Uh, or the, why do we define that these verbs are belong to the to the uh, I mean regular verbs in the past form? Regular. Regular means it at the end. Regular ed at the end. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce this one? Ask. 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 Ask again. Works. Works. Okay, this one. Works. Work it. Works. This one. This one? Used. Used. Now get familiarized with this. You say asked. Asked. Yeah, it's like if you if you pronounce it like this one. Work it. Okay. Call it. Use it. Now, how do you pronounce this one? Ask. Asked. Ask. Ask. Uh, look at it. Look at it. How do you pro this is pronunciation? No es que si se escriba, le estoy poniendo pronunciación. How do you pronounce this verb once again? G. Yeah, asked. but how do you pronounce it? Asked. 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 How do you pronounce the number two? Works. Work. 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 How Work. do you pronounce Work. the number three? Works. Cold. Cold. How do you pronounce number three? Cold. 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 How do you pronounce? Use. 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 All right. So, but there are certain rules that we're going to learn tonight. Okay. Hello? So, we're going to, we're going to see some rules. We're going to start some rules so that you can perfectly define if the pronunciation is T. T sound, sound or E, because we have three sounds in English with regarding to simple past tense, okay? Uh, we have three pronunciation, three forms of pronunciation with or regarding to uh, regular verbs. We have the sound, we have sound and we also have it sound yeah. but you gotta be careful okay because yeah. we we are we we already identified that this sound is t, this one right uh, this one is also t, word word called the word yes so we define that this one belongs to this but there are certain rules that oh. we're going to learn and actually i shared the video i share a link in the in the whatsapp group so that you can study deeply about the way to pronounce certain uh perps okay i'm gonna give you some time for you to for you to see the video but 
Uh, later, you're gonna explain um, the way to identify when to pronounce in a certain way. Now, there are some other common irregular verbs in the past tense. For example, we have, where is this verb? Uh -huh. Base form B. B. Infinity B. Uh, B. to be. To be. Past form was, was or were. Now, was. Say, were. If I say I, I was. You I was. was. You. You was. was. You were. Uh, you were. were. He. You were. He. He was. Was. She. She was. was. Good. The person singular. It. Were. It. It were. Uh, it was. You. You were. And were. they. I was. Were. Right. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, he you were, was, uh, we were, I'm missing we were, right? was, it was, we, you were, we were, we were, were. were. Okay, so this is a verb we in a simple past form. Were. Be, base form, infinitive to be, simple past form, was in were, negative statement, was I was wasn't. Not, wasn't, I wasn't. Not, were not. Wasn't. Weren't. Weren't. Okay. Now, base form. Have. 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 Infinitive. Have. To have. To have. Past tense. Had. Didn't. Have. Ah, uh, no. Had. Have. Didn't have. Didn't okay, have. Now, well, you have this list, okay, in, in order to start, right? Infinitive form, do, past, did, didn't in the narrative, say, as the base form, said in the past, didn't say yeah. in, in, the, in, the, in the negative. Get, base form, got, negative, Get, got. I didn't have, yes, that's right. Uh, To make, made, didn't make. Made to go when didn't to go. go went didn't go. go. Uh, to take to, to didn't take. take. Didn't take. Etc. Right. Come. Etc. Yeah. So you have a, a, a very small list there. Now, so far so good. Do you need further in information about simple past things? So we're gonna do something, okay? Let me see. It's because I have like, like some other uh, links right here. Ah, okay. So this is this is quite good. So we're gonna do a, a, an exercise. Let me see how long does it take the video that I share in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, in the WhatsApp group. Words. Okay. So, uh, okay. so it takes how long does it take the video? Yeah. Give me one second because I cannot see here. So it's six minutes uh, 37, 37 seconds. So dura six minutos con 37 segundos. Uh, do me the favor to see the video, el video, el link que les compartí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Va a durar 6 minutos 37 segundos. Después de 7 minutos vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Y me lo van a pronunciar de acuerdo a lo que vieron en el video. All right? 7 minutes from now on. Siete minutos partiendo desde este momento. 
en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí hay un enlace. Hay que verlo. Are you ready? Exactly at nine. Exactamente a las nueve. Voy a empezar a preguntar. A pedir participación de ustedes. Ready? Let's go, Rich. Ok. Seis minutos, siete minutos duro. Well, let me see. I need to reaffirm what we are doing uh, now. Uh, Aníbal, where did, where are we doing now? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer, Aníbal? A ver el video para para pronunciar las las los verbos que están ahí. Okay, y también les voy a preguntar de cómo de cómo comprendemos las reglas que ahí se nos presentan, ¿ok? Here we go. So, uh, at nine I will start. A las nueve yo empiezo. Tienen un secreto para atraer la abundancia de sus vidas. Aproximadamente... El 12% de todos los multimillones. Teacher, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos verbos son? ¿Son solo cuatro que visualizo o son más? Ah, no, we have more right here. They are like... Ten, ten. You have ten. Okay. Teacher, y el link es el que mandó antes de comenzar la clase. Uh, yes, exactly, Michael. Ok, ok.
Okay, time's over. And I think you discovered something about pronunciation, right? The regular verbs. All of these are regular verbs. All of them, all of their endings is an ed. Okay. Pronunciation. How do you pronounce this verb? First, second, or third? Third. Third. This one? Third. How do you how do you pronounce it? Yeah, then. How do you pronounce the verb? No, it's no, it is not it is not that one. So where's where's the right one? The first Here's pocket. The first pocket. Pack. Pack. Okay. How do you pronounce the number two? This one? No. First. First. I said first. This first. one? Clean. Clean. How do you pronounce Clean. it? Clean. 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 This is not the Clean. answer. No. no. What is it's the a... what is the right answer? Early. This one? Yes. It's the second one, right? So how do you pronounce it? Clean. 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 Now the, at the beginning we can exaggerate it, right? Clean. Al, fi, al principio, ahorita, como estamos directamente con esto de la pronunciación, hay que exagerarlo. A modo de que se nos quede automático la pronunciación. Clean. Pero ya cuando hablemos de manera Clean. natural, ustedes ya automático les va a salir la pronunciación. What about this one? Is there the... Right. 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 First, second, second. or third? Second. 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 How do you pronounce it? Right. 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 Can you go and see? Can you see the the, the pronunciation right. in the internet? Right. Right. Ah, now it's different. Right. Right? Right. So when when you want to make sure you are pronouncing well the word, then you can you can uh, see the dictionary, mm. or you can uh, use a translator. Google Translator is a good one, right? So you you type this the the, the word or the verb in this case, you paste it in Google Translator and then there's something there, there's a there's a bell or there's a speaker there in which you click on it and then you get the right pronunciation. Mm -hmm. This one? Yes. Needed. There's needed. Needed. Need. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce it? Needed. Needed. There are some people who are just investigating in the in the in the Google Translator. That's good. Need it, right? Need it. It, 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 need it. Need it. What about this one? Need First, second, it. or third one? First. Okay, how do you Skate. pronounce it? Escape. 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 Okay, very good. We are Escape. just getting to the right track. This one? Look. Mm. Huh? Um, first, second, or third first. one? First. First. How do you pronounce it? Look. 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 Ah, okay. Now it's better. Look. Right. Look. This one? Look. First, second, or third one? Second. Second. Second? Yes. How do you pronounce it? Count. Count. 
Count. Count. That is not the pronunciation. Count. Just Count. another one. Count it. Ah, uh, no, yes, right? Count it. Count, Count, Count it. Number eight? Third, second, Wash. third one? Wash. 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 Mm. The first. The first one. Yeah. Washed. How Washed. do you pronounce Washed. it? Washed. 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 Number nine. Pronunciation. Worked. What? Worked. Worked. Second or third one? First one. Third yeah. one. First. Pronunciation. Work. 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 Pronunciation. Help. First, yes, second, third one? Work. Work. Yeah, but tell me, what, first, second, or third? Help. First. first. How do you pronounce it? First. Help. Work. Help. 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 All right, so Help. we have... We have 10. Help. Now, tell me, according Help. to what you saw in the video, uh, what would be the conclusion, people? ¿Cómo definiríamos la, las, las reglas de cómo pronunciar los diferentes verbos terminados en ed en el pasado? Porque si ustedes se fijan, todos terminan en ed, pero no todos se pronuncian igual. Hay tres diferentes pronunciaciones. Pero ¿cómo saber cuándo va a ser con este sonido? ¿Cuándo con este sonido y cuándo con este sonido? ¿Quién me ayuda con respecto a lo que vieron en el video? Depende del sonido con que termina el, el, la, la, la forma básica del verbo. Ok, por ejemplo, acá tenemos pack. pack. ¿Cómo pack. yo sé que... El sonido final del verbo tiene, influye en esto. ¿Cómo lo sé? Porque aquí tengo... Mmm, okay, aquí de, traten de hacer el sonido, cierren sus micrófonos, si les da pena, o para que no vean con que somos todos haciendo los sonidos. Mmm, mmm, influye. Ok, pero hay que descubrir por qué. Rain. 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 Need. 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 Escape. Escape. Look. Look. La última sílaba, teacher. Ajá. But. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Let me see. ¿Quién, aquí, ¿Quién me ayuda a hacer sonidos aquí? Para que yo pueda explicar. Quiero ver la mano. Back. Raise your hand. ¿Alguien que me ayuda a hacer sonidos? Para que yo pueda explicar. Quiero ver la mano levantada. ¿Quién nos va a ayudar ahora en la noche? Thank you, Michael. I, I have Michael and I, and I have Fernando. Good. So we're going to start Fine. with, 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 uh, with Michael. ¿Cuál es este sonido, Michael? Excelente, excelente. So, we're going to see this sound. No veamos letras ahorita. Vamos a imaginar que son los, los símbolos de los sonidos. But Michael ya hizo este, miren. Este hizo Michael. Back. Pero si yo le digo a Michael, Michael, hágame ese sonido, por favor. Back, back. Haga ese sonido, Michael. Back. No, hágame ese sonido, por favor. ¿Cuál te echa la? G sound. Okay. G. This one. Back. Back. Ah. Good. Good. Michael? Yes, teacher. Yeah, so, now, if you do it by your own, si lo hacen por ustedes mismos en casa, 
se, se van a fijar que, el, que la estructura de cómo nosotros colocamos nuestras cuerdas vocales y todo, todo lo que articulamos para hacer los sonidos es la misma posición. G, G. Eso sí, es lo mismo. G. Es la misma posición para hacer el sonido, pero hay una diferencia. Ahí no suenan nuestras ah. cuerdas vocales. Pero cuando hacemos el sonido de la G, ahí sí van a vibrar nuestras cuerdas vocales. G, 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 G. Entonces, ahí hay una diferencia. Voiceless, le vamos a llamar a los donde no vibran los sonidos, le vamos a llamar voiceless. Y cuando vibran voice. los sonidos, le vamos a llamar voiced. Right? Voice, voice. Ahora, fíjense bien en eso, porque es la, la manera más sencilla que yo encuentro para explicarles sin tanto de, de ver las reglas que ustedes vieron en el video. Porque también se las pueden memorizar, pero siento que es más sencillo esto. Now, if you have a voiceless sound to in here, at the end, the sound's going to be... Okay? Ya dijimos que ese no vibran las cuerdas vocales. Ahora, si yo hago este sonido, clean. Fernando, ¿cómo termina el sonido del verbo? ¿Cuál es el sonido de, de, de esta letra? Voice. Ah, it is voiced, right? So voy a poner acá para que nos acordemos. Give me a second. Boys, es cuando vibra, dijo. Ya. Yeah. Clean. Yes. Es que se la... Va. Voiceless es cuando no vibra. Voiceless. Voiceless. En uh... voiced es cuando sí vibra. Voice. Ajá. So, we notice, ya nos dimos cuenta que con este no vibran las cuerdas vocales. Si yo les pido a alguien que me, que me haga el sonido de la N y se tocan acá sus cuerdas vocales, me dicen si es voiced o si es voiceless. Voice. Mm. Voice. Ah, it is voiced. Quiere decir que vibran las cuerdas mm. vocales. Mm. 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 ¿Qué va a suceder con esos verbos? El sonido... The sound is going to be like the sound. Van a sonar como D. Miren. Está sencillo. Si no, suena, si no vibran cuerdas vocales, si vibran las cuerdas vocales, D. ¿Ok? Mm, rain. Uh, now, there is something over here that I, I consider this is better if I provide the rule. Para eso está más sencillo. Man. Todos los verbos que terminan con T o D van a sonar ID. Need. Did. Need it. Need it. So when you see when you see D or T over here, D or T at the end of the verb, so you know that the precision is it. Now, voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Voiceless. T sound. Voice or Voice. voiceless? Voice. Voiceless. 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 Right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my God, I, I will delete everything. I have made a mess. Ya hice un desorden bueno aquí. So, so I, I hope that you have got it, right? So over here, I have this sound. ¿Cómo termina el sonido de este verbo? ¿Quién me lee el verbo ese? Watch. Uh, voice or voiceless at the end? 
Esa es la manera más sencilla que hay, que yo he encontrado, para explicar cuándo va a sonar como T, cuándo va a sonar como D y cuándo va a sonar como I. Que son los tres sonidos que tenemos. En pasado de verbos regulares. So, how? The sound. Uh, the sound. And we also have it. Sound. Están en los tres sonidos. Ahora, ya solo nos queda practicar. ¿Por qué? Ya sé que cuando es voiceless, cuando nos vibran cuerdas vocales, es esto. Cuando vibran nuestras cuerdas vocales al, al pronunciar el verbo en, en, eh, al final. Es bien termina. malo. Si termina en cuando D o en T, y. Cuando entro Ahora, ¿qué queda? Primero, preguntarles, ¿is there any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta respecto a esto? No. Okay. No. So that means that I did a great, a, a good job. Entonces, si no hay preguntas, quiere decir que he hecho un trabajo aceptable. Ahora, ¿qué nos queda? Practicar. Practicar. Okay, let us practice. practice. So we're going to go, let me see. Bueno, ya practicamos acá, pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, solo son 10 verbos. Es muy poco. Yo les dije que este, estos niveles son para empezar a, a, a llenar nuestra mente de mucho vocabulario, de mucho verbo, para que se preparen. Eh, y, y no vaya a sentir muy difícil, digamos, ya unos niveles como intermedio, avanzado. So, let me see. Uh, past tense, yes, no question. No. I think we're done with it, okay? So I also have a, a PowerPoint presentation, but I think it's been enough. So we're gonna do something, people. We're gonna do something. Now, si yo les digo cómo pronuncian este verbo en pasado, ¿cómo suena? Enjoy. Uh, give me a second. Okay, we have enjoy, 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 enjoy. Excellent, enjoy. very good. Con de al final. What about this one? Learn, 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 learn. Good. What about this one? Update. 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 ¿Con qué sonido update. termina update? Okay. Sonido T. Sí. ¿Cuál, era la, ¿Cuál era la regla que yo les dije? Si termina en T o en D... En este caso termina en E, pero si ustedes lo pronuncian, update. La E no se pronuncia. Entonces el sonido con el que termina es con T. Updated. Updated. Ajá. Now. Updated. 40 días. Past of this verb. Dígame el pasado de ese verbo, por favor. Tampoco. No, ¿y por qué? ¿Quién dice? ¿Hola? ¿Hola? Ajá. Ok, dice made. ¿Made? Made. 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 Aquí es donde ya no entran, están de aquí arriba. Made. ¿Por qué? Porque este es irregular, es un verbo irregular. ¿Y qué les decía Made. yo en la explicación? Les decía que estos verbos... ¿Se acuerdan que ahí Made. en la página dice que es complicado? Que leímos que es complicado cuando vemos los verbos irregulares. Y que pues la verdad que esa palabra complicada no me gustó mucho. 
<risa> que no tiene nada de complicado, en realidad no es complicado. Sí. Yo digo, me, Ajá. el pasado, me. Pasado me. participio, me. me. Entonces, ¿qué es lo me. que tengo que hacer? Me make, memorizar. Me, me. Memorizar. Make, make, make. Make, si es irregular, make, make, me lo memorizo make, make. Y, y me aprendo la pronunciación. Si es regular, pues ya el camino está más fácil porque ya vimos cómo se pronuncia. ¿Ve? Y ya sabemos que los regulares todos terminan en ED. O sea, eso está pan comido. Eso no. tiene un poquito más de trabajo porque hay que, hay que aprendérselos. ¿Ok? Now, let's see. We're going to practice a little bit. I learn it. So we're going to solve this part. No, what's the question right here? Enjoy is a bird. What is the question? Enjoy. What is the question did with you, enjoy? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? What is the question with me? What is the question with me? Did you meet? <clears throat> did you meet new people? What is the question with learn? Did you learn something? Okay. What's the question with network? Network in the convention. What's the question with exchange? Did you change business? Excellent. Pretty good. Now we're going to continue talking a little bit. Okay. Now, past tense, it's over. Well, tomorrow we're gonna see like some some tips to start a uh, a quick conversation. Okay, that the they are called they are called small talk. Okay, and there are some topics that we can take into consideration to start a conversation. Information such as location, company, politics, common events, travel, money. Uh, bosses, likes and dislikes, etc. So you can use these topics to talk about or to create small talk. Conversaciones rápidas. Cuando usted conoce a alguien, algunas veces en salvadoreño, usted podemos hablar del clima, es, hace calor, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es como es romper el hielo. Son son conversaciones cortas para romper el hielo. Okay, so, we're going to study that later. Esto lo vamos a estudiar o lo vamos a ver así un poquito rápido el día de mañana. Porque no tiene mucha complicación. Pero uh, una tarea que sí les voy a dejar es acerca de esta lectura. No piensen que ya se va a cerrar la clase porque apenas estoy asignando mi primera tarea. Eso hay que leerlo muy bien. Muy bien pronunciadito y saber perfectamente lo que ahí dice. Okay, si ustedes se fijan, hay verbos que están en pasado y mañana yo me voy a dedicar a escucharlos muy bien cómo se pronuncian estos verbos. Ok. Eso y esto acá. Y por supuesto me van a explicar las respuestas. Dónde lo encontraron. Que era verdadero o falso. Esa es la primera tarea. Now. Uh, second, well, I told you the last time, right? Tarea permanente que van a tener siempre es aprenderse verbos. Regulares e irregulares. Esa es tarea permanente. Uh, but now. Now we're going to work in something that's, that can be very productive. Vamos a trabajar en algo que considero que es muy productivo. 
acabamos de venir de las fiestas agostinas y de nuestras vacaciones. Sencillo. Cuéntenos en inglés todo lo que hicieron y lo que no hicieron en vacaciones. How much time are you going to have? There's been like 15 minutes. Dediquémosle 15 minutos a ese trabajo. Pueden usar la, la red de internet, traductor, lo que ustedes necesiten. ¿Ok? Van a trabajar ahorita 15 minutos y luego voy a empezar a pedir participaciones. Para ya ir más o menos cerrando la clase. ¿Ok? Ok. Sure. What are we going to do, people? Eh, Jonathan, what are we going to do? Um, vamos a... Bueno... En 15 minutos para hacer eh, contar lo que hicimos durante las vacaciones. Excellent. That's it. Right? That's it. So let us okay. work over it during 15 minutes. Okay? Now 15 minutes from now. Okay. Fabi, se pídate ya. Perdón, para que te guarde. Ahí está. Ah. Ahí está. Ahí está. Para ella no pasa lo mismo. En serio. Qué loco. ¿Cómo sabe? ¿Qué 
Ya terminó la clase, ya pasó la lista. Me tiene estudiando lo que se ve bien. Pero cuando eres que lo No tendré la ropa, mira. Fabiola, anda a cepillate. No, anda ya.
You have five minutes more. Okay, so I think you have had some time to arrange your ideas and to look for some vocabulary that can help you to um, describe what you did during vacation time. 
And when I have the 16 people connect to you. And I wonder if you want to be, if you want to start with the, with the activity, okay? So I need to see that you want to participate and share your experience regarding to the vacation time. Aiden, are you ready? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay. So do me the favor, please. Okay. Um, my name is Adam Ramirez. I tell you that last week I had to attend a youth convention with my daughter. That's last three days. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It was a church activity that is held every year. It was very interesting. On this vacation, we could not go to the beach with my family. Finished. Wow, thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, if you want to continue working on it, you can do it. Si desea continuar trabajando en, en ello, puede hacerlo. Y les lanzo el reto siempre de, digamos, el día de mañana decirlo. Um, tratando de, de, de no visualizar ninguna ayuda. ¿Ok? Ese es un reto. Let me see. Aníbal. Good night, teacher. Uh, everybody. Uh, good night, college. Uh, I didn't. I did not have a vacation because mm -hmm. of my work. Uh, but I, but I would have liked to go to work and distract myself. And one day, uh, with my family, and enjoy the vacation. I would have on the wheel uh, and eating the Spanish churros. And crazy corn in the same way, go by uh, at beach, but another time it will be finished. Teacher. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anibal, same story, right? So, same piece of advice continue working <laughs> the description of the activities you did during vacation time, and tomorrow you can, um, you can uh, retell what you have said tonight. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Aníbal. Well, my vacation we are not what I expect, but <laughs> but even so, <laughs> well, I enjoy these days and the moments. Uh, I had a schedule change at the world for a few days when I work in the side. Uh, I think uh, useful from the accounts and the after one day the finished day <laughs> i went with my co-workers in the assessment park and the next day i said and just gonna go with my son and then we go to dinner really he has more fun <laughs> he went to enjoy to the beach all right but in my part uh I had a regular day of normal work, but I really, I need vacation. <laughs> you know, you know about the, 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 the very complaint? I I just had a word in this day. <laughs> yeah, don't complain, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, very nice. At the end, I will provide a same story, right? For you to continue working with the with the description of the activities you did during the vacation time, and also uh, pay special attention to what we have studied tonight. Okay, concentrémonos mucho en lo que aprendimos ahora en ahora este día en la noche. Pronunciación, las reglas, uh, el tiempo que le dedicamos al video, uh, etc. Los ejercicios. Todo importa al momento de producir algo en inglés. Okay, now let's see. 
Daniel? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, in the past holidays, the first days I went to lunch at Puerto de la Libertad with my family. I ate fish and shrimp. In the second day, I visited the botanical garden in Plan de la Laguna, Antigua Cuscatlán. I saw some plants, trees, bears, and then I drank uh, frozen coffee. I went to my mother's house too. The other days, I was at home. For the moment, so that's <laughs> okay, Daniel. Thank you very much. Keep working on it. Okay. Okay. Keep working on it. Now let me see. I have Edgar. Hi, teacher. Hi, Edgar. Hi. And the past vacation, uh, I had to go to work for three days. I went to visit my family and I went I went to work for two days at my old job. I played soccer with my friends, but I didn't not go to the beach and didn't not go out to any recreational place. The few days that I did no work, I rest to I rest I rested a lot. On my this teacher. Pretty good. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, now same piece of advice, right? Keep working on it then tomorrow. If we have the opportunity, you can I mean you can continue participating. Maria Elba. Well, participate, Judge. Sure, Gladys. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Um, on Friday afternoon, I went to my cousin's house because on Saturday we were going to see a game where his wife is flying on. After the games, we went to the beach on the coast of El Sol. Um, while on the beach, we ate a few menus, both fish and enjoy it. On Sunday, I was with my cousin and his family enjoying a delicious lunch, and we watched a movie. E and what I didn't do was go to the wheels. Finished. Quite good. Thank you, Gladys. It was quite good. Okay. Mm, well, I really enjoy when you when you create something, I feel like wow, that's amazing, right? They are producing something. They are they are working really good. Now, uh Norma. And let me see, let me see, uh, Norma. Hello, teacher. Hello, Norma. Hola. Hello, hello, we listen to you. Hola. Hello, hello, Norma. Hola, teacher. No, yes, no. Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, now you have the opportunity to participate. Uh, hello, how are you? I will teach you what I did on this vacation in the company where I work. There, they only hit. He was the six of the time in field on Sunday. So while the week we have to work in, on weekends because prefer to be at home. Thank you, Norma. That was quite good. Now. Well, because of the time, we're going to do something. 
no me gusta que uh, uh, algunos participantes se queden sin, sin, sin um, efectuar o presentar lo que han creado. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a sacarle provecho al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, Jonathan. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, bueno, sí, no sé si puedo participar también. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Es una pequeña, un resumen de lo que hice en vacaciones. Bueno, um, during my vacation from the English class, I did not receive vacation at work. On the contrary, I was in training from my new position in the company. But nevertheless, in my free time, I managed to do many things and go out with my family, to do a little sport with my companions and to carry all the small work in my home. That was it? Yes. <laughs> wow, quite good, congrats. Hey, now, Thank something you. that I really like when you produce something is that you, um, the, uh, uh, Michael? Yes, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yes. Yeah. In my vacation, I I get up uh, a bit late and the feel that I I did was I go I go to the farm after I rest two hours and after I take a shower and visit with my friends who lives close to my house, but to enjoy a delicious coffee. And the other day I visited my parents and I visited my dad in the hospital and my mom always be working in the market. And I enjoy with my 11 siblings. And that's it, teacher. All right, you enjoyed your time. Okay, now in front of <laughs> Now listen carefully, I will provide some, some uh, observations, okay? Some observation about what you have done so far. Uh, voy, a, voy a hacer algunas observaciones de manera general. A todos les solicito que verifiquen la gramática. Si realmente estoy dando un mensaje en presente o en pasado. Ok, eso es sumamente importante. Lo otro, la pronunciación. Verifiquemos la pronunciación. Y por último, ok, es, es bueno producir algo um, que nos, que nos, um, que podamos poner en práctica, en donde podamos poner en práctica lo que hemos aprendido, ok, y que al mismo tiempo pues, pueden también, este, pueden hacer la siguiente práctica, pueden grabar su voz um, y luego escuchar lo que ustedes han presentado o lo, que, o lo que quieren presentar y luego cuando uno escucha dice, ay, aquí me equivoqué, pronuncié mal este verbo, o en lugar de decir um, eh, me, me, me acosté a las, o me ac en esta vacación, vacación me acostaba a las a las ocho ok y, pero no lo dije en, en pasado, sino que dije en, pre, en en presente, me acuesto a las ocho. Ah, entonces no, me equivoqué aquí, entonces lo corrijo. Esa es una, una manera de, de auto, um, de mejorar lo que nosotros hemos, hemos logrado. ¿Ok? Porque las presentaciones han estado muy bien. Pero es bueno que lo sigamos observando, que no demos por sentado, que ya, ya lo hicimos, ¿ok? Ya hice, ya hice la presentación de lo que de, lo, de las actividades que desarrollé en vacaciones, ok, ya se acabó la actividad, no démosle seguimiento si yo hice, digamos yo hablé un poco de lo que hice en estas vacaciones de agosto pues seguir indagando y decir, bueno, me, me levantaba a tales horas, me cepillaba tomaba el desayuno, hay tantas actividades que uno hace en vacaciones no solo decir, bueno, yo fui a la playa Uh, fui con mi familia y ya nos vamos solo a, a, lo de, a lo de disfrutar, ¿verdad? Sino que también veamos detalles como me levantaba, me acostaba, 
a qué horas hacía la cama, uh, si le ayudaba a la esposa en la casa, o sea, detallitos, que son verbos que podemos ir recogiendo, ¿está? Muchos verbos que podemos ir recogiendo e ir aprendiendo. Así que esas son las observaciones y el día de mañana, si Dios permite, nos volvemos a encontrar. Si hay alguien que quiera participar, con mucho gusto, para ya ir cerrando la sesión. Uh, I want participation, teacher. Good, Merlin. Go ahead. Um, in vacation uh, with my son and co-workers, um, uh, we went to see the Ausoles of Awashapan. I I watched many insects and I saw some metallic blue insect uh, escarabajos. <laughs> um, we walked we walked to the Apaneca Lagoon and another day we went by bike to Turin and I wanted to read a book book but I didn't um I could not see my brother either um and only that and only that okay that was really nice to listen to you okay let us continue uh, working on it and tomorrow you see we can continue talking about what you did during vacation time anybody else no more participations no more comments okay no. so we're gonna stop on here and let us see tomorrow good night people Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Everybody. Thanks, God bless you. Good night.